I'll start with what I liked. I, I liked Jeff Sims and just how fluid he made his throws. He was nine of thirteen. Um, had a nice touchdown run. And we've talked about this already. I think I think it's going to be tough for Casey Thompson, but that, how that battle looks will be something to watch. I liked Billy Kemp and what he brought to the table this spring. And yeah, you know, I, I think I like just the running back depth of where they're at. I, I don't know who the number one is, but I think they've got depth, and that's good. Yeah, and everybody's going to say, what about the offensive line? I thought in the spring game, and I was just telling you guys off air, my initial thought was they really struggled. After watching it on TV, re-watching a game, I wouldn't say they struggled that much. Um, pass blocking even wasn't that bad. Now, there was there were a few break. glaring yeah. plays. There were a few glaring plays where, like, uh, Cam Lenhart ripped it, ripped around the edge. Mm -hmm. um, I think Uman Allen did that. Um, I don't know if I pronounced his name right. Prince Will. Uh, Kai Walling had some some moments but generally i thought they held up pretty well now run blocking running backs didn't put up numbers i mean you can't you can't portray it any differently they didn't none of those guys i think the longest run was 11 yards mm -hmm. so i don't know an offensive line was i would say fine um i thought the to push in the run game initially like with that top group got some i mean it was serviceable I mean, I think there's something that if, if that's consistent, you'll take that. I mean, yeah. when you're when you're getting two or three yards downfield with that push, I mean, mm -hmm. they were winning a lot of times off the ball, which mm -hmm. could not be said several times or in several games last season. Right. So I, I took I that as a positive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just you just wonder what's Pro Hoska gonna bring right mm -hmm. when he comes back. Yeah, he didn't play it. Are all. we gonna get the Teddy Pro Hoska as a freshman that we're still thinking about today? Are we going to get the one that was a little bit sluggish last year that came back too early that got hurt? Mm -hmm. And you heard Teddy say he's 300, he was 330 pounds. He put on a lot of weight in this. So I think for Teddy, what last year? Yeah, over the shoulder surgery rehab, um, he put on weight and he, and during the knee, he said he lost weight. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the way is, you know, he's got to get himself quick enough because the, the kick steps of those tackles oh, has God. been a major liability. I mean, some of like some of the worst I've ever seen on any offensive line anywhere the last few years. When I mean, in the pro football focus grades reflect that as Nebraska's been ranked dead last two years in a row mm -hmm. for all power five football for offensive pass blocking protection. How much do you think this emphasis with strength and conditioning on mobility and bending will improve Knee pass braces. blocking when you're talking about having two tackles that are six ten and however tall Ben Hart is, six eight nine. 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 The fact that, I mean, Ben Hart talked about that like right before the spring game when he did his interview session. He talked about how the biggest difference for him has been that emphasis okay. to where he's able to to bend. He's able to get low mm -hmm. and get leverage. And it just seems for the big guy like that, mm -hmm. that's critical. Yeah, I oh, mean, no the, the, the run game is, is fine because you, you're dictating it. But when you're reacting, you got to be able to move. And I wonder if this emphasis on movement, mobility, mm -hmm. flexibility, all that stuff, how much that's going to help those two tackles in particular, when it comes to that pass block conversation, oh, I, I think it would help. I, I, come on, I, I, look at Ben Hart. Megan had that. Well, there's a photo of him right there. Look at him. I mean, he's his upper body is he's trim, he's lean. Now, listen, you know this, Teddy. You, too, you, you you cover basketball. If you don't have quick feet, you don't have quick feet. If you have if you have big ankles and you can't move, you, that's not. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter what your upper body looks like. So I don't know. But if you don't have There's leverage, this, I mean, you that's be, true. You can be fast. And you're just going to get knocked back. Right. That's true. So, well, I'm not going to make any predictions about that line. No, that's I, still the number one concern for me has on this be. entire team. Has it be. was going in the spring. It still is. And has to be. there's been a lot of encouraging reports. Mm -hmm. But from what we've seen, it didn't do much to change, yeah. <laughs> change that level. Of concern you know what the me. good news, Rob and Sean is? We're going to find out right away. That's the beauty of a game like Minnesota. Absolutely. You're going to find out right away how much progress. A legit Big Ten line yeah. program. Yep. A line that's had a lot of success against Nebraska's offensive mm -hmm. line. Now, on the, the flip side, years. Colorado, like you would, I like this matchup for Nebraska. Yeah. Are you telling me that Deion Sanders is going to basically be able to bring in an expansion team of new players, that's a good point. get them fed, yeah. trained, used to the altitude? 
in a few months' time? I don't think so. You can go get a bunch of good players. Doesn't mean they're going to gel together and be. They're they're not going to have a full practice together until the start of fall camp. I, I, don't I mean, know think about that. Involved. Let That's alone eighty like, percent like, of your roster is not on campus yet. How does that work? <laughs> Let alone getting used to the altitudes. Yeah. I mean, that's not easy. Yep. No, like, you're right. I and mean, and it's always a risk with portal guys in general. And now you're building an entire team through the portal. Good luck. I, I just think it's going to be a slow build there. I, 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 come on. Like you're saying, this is this isn't like Lincoln Capital's indoor football <laughs> Persian Auditorium. Great reference. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you just can't put together a team like yeah. that in major college football. I agree. Yeah. You're listening here to the Husker Alliance show as we talk um, some more storylines on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, the question now is, do they need to go on the portal? Where would they go? I mean, I think offensive line, when I look at this team, that's the only thing you would go for. But really, would you go right now? Well, if you found the right guy. But you're that's a big if. Are you gonna? Fi- I don't think you're yeah. gonna find the right guy. That's the that's the problem. I don't think that's one of the positions, Sean. With due respect, I would I wouldn't mess with it. Rule kind of hit it at that right. too. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to find the right kind of guy. Well, before. yeah, and it's not like they're really hurting for depth there. No, and I think everyone's like, I mean, that's where they could have gotten the Stanford guy, Walter Rouse. Right. That, that's that's he wouldn't have practiced this spring though. Because he was going to grab a knee injury. No, he had a knee injury. injury. Yeah, he was. He, we, we wouldn't have seen Walter Rouse this spring. Yeah. So right I don't. Now, right now, you're getting Hunter Anthony. You know, like they're getting that that caliber Kevin of player, like Anthony. like a depth guy. Yeah, like you're not getting an instant impact plug and play starter. And probably if not. you <laughs> probably if not. that player is available, Nebraska's chances because everybody's going to be want that guy. Yeah. Like every power team in the country. So where so where do you look? Um, I mean, I think you could use a another big time receiver. Again, hard to find big time, but maybe you get a big a bigger body, you know, a taller, longer receiver. Xavier's good, and if, if he's if Xavier Betts is a third option, which it looked looked like on Saturday, Kemp being the first option, mm-hmm. Washington being, you know, one B. If Xavier Betts, who started, um. If he's your third option, you're pretty good there. Castaneda, Garcia Castaneda there too. Um, yep. Yeah, you're, you're all right there. But you could use maybe – if there's one that presents himself and is interested, I wouldn't turn it down. Now, you could say that about almost any position. Right. If a good, if a good player presents himself. That's the thing. It's got to be the right guy, Yeah. the right place, right time, all that sort of stuff. So uh, Defensive I, line. I yeah, mean, that's the priority. Yeah. Defensive line. Yeah, and, I mean, now with the win thing. Too. And I'm talking big body defensive line. I'm – uh, you know the thing about the thing about that scrimmage is, is what it showed me is those guys like Prince Well and Cam Lenhart are they look ready to me. Yeah. And so you, so it's less of a priority on the outside linemen, more of a priority on the big Maverick Noonan too. On the big yeah, mm-hmm. Noonan's pretty good too. B- bigger priority on the like the polar bears, you know, and like guys that look like Stefan Wayne. And there, I think there's a thought though, like for Matt Rule, like he's not necessarily just worried about next year. He's he's looking in the big picture. That's a good point, Sean. And I, I talked to somebody, you know, from the Frost regime this week about that. And he's like, probably the biggest mistake we did was we tried to do too much in that first year. Tried to bring in too many guys where they would have been better off maybe taking 15 guys and then holding 10 spots to use in 2019. Instead of overdoing the twenty, you, you get so anxious. Oh, yeah. oh, you got that's the world. I mean, it's speed. It's dating. hard to sell like slow build in this world. No doubt, it it's hard to. But it's it, never been harder. But it's you hard to speed right. date and put together a successful marriage. Yeah, there's a there's got there's got to be a fine line in that conversation like, somewhere. You can't really learn enough about a recruit right in a week. No. <laughs> I mean, no, it's bizarre right now. It really? Is. Yeah, that speed dating world's bizarre. I mean, so it pursuit and it's kind of, yeah, it can produce some bizarre results. 